Hey guys, the holidays are right around the corner and don't we have the perfect gift for you. This week on DevKit Weekly, we'll be giving away one Iono Pi Max development kit from Sephara Labs for absolutely free. At first glance, the Iono Pi Max just looks like any old industrial controller or PLC. But if you take a peek under the hood, you'll discover there is a whole lot more going on. And what's going under there is a 32-bit ATSA ME54 microcontroller with 1 megabit of memory and 256 kilobits of RAM, a microchip ATECC608A secure element chip, and a Raspberry Pi. Yes, that's right. This industrial controller, server, edge computing platform is driven by the same quad-core Raspberry Pi 3 or 3 Plus board that's used to teach STEM students worldwide. So does that mean the kids in your local computer class could easily transition into an industrial engineering job? Well, sort of. Users can develop on the Iono Pi Max just like any other standard Raspberry Pi, as it runs the same open source, Debian Linux based Raspberry Pi operating system, supports the same tools, and can be programmed in the same programming model. Anything that you can run on a Raspberry Pi, you can run on the Iono Pi Max. From simple shell scripts to Docker containers to house full blown Java servers. In fact, there is not much proprietary about the Iona Pi Max at all, which may be ho hum to younger developers, but a godsend to those of you who have been around the block in industrial engineering environments where advanced proprietary technology of today can quickly turn into the legacy prisons of tomorrow. Speaking of standard, the I.O. and communications interfaces on the Iona Pi Max are wide ranging, but what you'd expect. They include the RS-232 and 485 that route through the Raspberry Pi's UR and USB buses, two USB 2.0 Type-A ports and an internal USB 2.0 Type-A port, an 8 megabit per second CAN 2.0 and CAN FD interface that is operated over SPI, a 10 to 100 megabits per second Ethernet, four 4 to 20 microamp and four 0 to 10 volt galvanically isolated analog inputs for connecting to industrial inputs, two temperature sensor inputs, six digital inputs that accept up to 30 volt signal, four relays, and two configurable analog outputs. Now, you can't see the Raspberry Pi, Iona Pi Max microcontroller, or microchip crypto element because, well, duh, the whole thing is packaged in this rugged industrial enclosure. But this housing isn't the only thing that makes the Iono Pi Max ready to roll in harsh environments. The engineers at Sephara Labs also put a great deal of thought into the power stage, which supports a range of 10 to 55 volts of DC current and is protected by electrolytic capacitors, inductors, diodes, and a highly efficient voltage regulator. The power stage includes resettable fuses, overcurrent limiting, over voltage protection, and thermal shutdown mechanisms, is protected from reverse polarity, and sports surge protection features that ensure 24-7 reliability even in the most demanding industrial deployments. Speaking of reliability, how about a universal power supply that supports 12 volts and 24 volts batteries, which can be charged via mains or even solar panels and used as a backup in the event of primary power supply fails? Oh yeah, the IONO also includes auxiliary regulated controllable power supply outputs to support external devices. But so what? What makes this any different than your run-of-the-mill industrial controller besides the fact there is a Pi inside? Well, not only does the extra horsepower of the Raspberry Pi turn this controller into an honest-to-god edge computing platform, the Iona Pi Max also includes a hardware watchdog circuit that monitors GPIOs. Power cycle is the Raspberry Pi in the event of faults, failures, or timeouts, and perhaps most interestingly, can control the two SD card slots on the Iona Pi Max. These two slots are connected via a high-speed switching matrix, and either one of them can be used as the boot port. What this means is that an Iona Pi Max user could go for ultra-reliability and redundancy by backing up the system on a mass storage device housed in the additional slot. 
and have the watchdog switch the host from one to the other in the event that it is triggered, the other obvious use case to all you IoTers out there is that that spare SD card can be flashed with a new firmware image and uploaded to the Raspberry Pi or microcontroller, updating the system without any interruption of service. Now, that's what I truly call hot swappable. Those are just a few of the highlights of the Iono Pi Max, and if you're interested in finding out more about how you can go from DIY to industrial with a Raspberry Pi based industrial controller, head on over to saferalabs.ccc ionopi max, or if you're already sold, you can purchase an Iono Pi Max for yourself anywhere between the price of $744.33 to $821.79 directly from Safara Labs. But as always, if you feel lucky, go ahead and fill out the form that's linked on the screen and in the description below to enter the raffle to win this specific Iono Pi Max for absolutely free. Like the US Postal Service, we do deliver. Anyway, thanks for watching this week's Dev Kit Weekly. Good luck in the raffle, happy holidays, and we'll see you guys next week.